I don't know why I hit it. <laughs> well, that's going to be funny. Um, so, hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Um, this uh, video here is just going to be a bit of a preamble to a commission I am going to be working on. Because I got another commission. So, yay. This is actually the second one I'm going to be working on. The first one was actually a video project. And um, it went viral and it uh, was very much worth the money and the time that I actually put into it. So yeah, that's how this is gonna work. Um, this is probably just gonna be very much uh, short form, uh, the, the video at least. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to talk about. I am just going to document my little uh, beginning process with my sketches, uh, with my commissions. Well, that I do with all my commissions. I'm terrible at explaining things sometimes. Um, so, right now, uh, the commission that I am working on, it is, well, I actually have to recreate a painting. Um, I have to recreate a, I think it's a 20 year old painting. I think they did it in 2000 or 1999. I can't find the date on the painting, but uh, I will flash it on screen like right here. Um, so you all can see it. But uh, yeah, this is a, this is an odd one, but I like it. It's all it is is just a house, but um, it's most importantly, it is a, uh, oop, I can't draw. This is what happens when you just jump right in. But most importantly, it is a house um, from uh, someone's childhood. This is actually a commission for my cousin. She is, she just wanted me to do this. And I agreed because I'm receptive like that and I didn't really have a problem with doing it. Um, so the little backstory behind this, once I uh, finalized what I wanted to do and how I, how I wanted to approach it, I ended up uh, making the trek, uh, AKA driving about an hour to my aunt's house because that's where she, that's where the painting was. And I was actually able to knock out about three birds with one stone when I was able to get out there. And again, I only, it only took like 53 minutes or something. I don't know. It took it took a while actually to get there. But I enjoyed the drive. But anyway, while I got there, I was mm, uh, getting three birds with one stone, like I just said, and. Um, I helped out my aunt with her internet. Uh, as per usual, she didn't actually need any help with her internet. I need to do some perspective. She didn't actually need to do anything to her internet. She just needed to turn her Wi-Fi on um, on her computer. So <laughs> that's how that worked. Let's see. Uh, I got to do two point perspective real quick. So give me a second. And blink boink and then we're going to oh this actually no it's not okay that's how that works all right now let's do it but uh all she really needed to do was turn her wi-fi on on her computer and i talked to them for a little bit as well just because uh wholesome <laughs> just because i wanted to talk to them and i actually like talking to them it was fun but uh, after I finally got that internet situation out the way again it didn't take too long um, I was able to Ooh, this is actually mm. and I'm gonna work on it this is just the first one I might end up changing it but anyway after the first uh, thing was done aka checking the internet I ended up uh, taking apart some of the old tables that um, my mother had stored in their basement and I ended up taking those home with me and I put those together a couple of days later but when I finally saw the painting I realized why uh, my cousin wanted it to wanted to have it recreated instead of just taking it away um, from from her mother my aunt and it was honestly the uh, the painting was just old, meaning that the canvas that it was work the canvas that it had been 
painted on was just very fragile because it was actually painted on um it was painted on a what what was it painted on it was painted on what looked like cardboard i think it may have been cardboard i don't really know if it actually was card i mean that car uh, it's not cardboard it was wood wood a wood fabric see look this is exactly why i can't talk sometimes anyway it looked like it was painted on a wood pane wood panel but it it just it looked like it was strong though now was it strong i don't know it probably was though and um because of that i just took a whole bunch of pictures and because i had my camera i had less excuses to not take pictures i even took a video of it just so i can see all the dimensions um that the canvas itself was was in and on and about there's a wall here and this is not the best but i'm just capturing it i'm just going to capture the essence and not work on it too hard i think i think giving it this uh i think giving it this um, smudge at the bottom was not the best idea but that's uh that's something i'm gonna have to deal with for like a couple more minutes i don't know why i don't i genuinely do not know why i started it like this but yeah that's, that's how my mind works this is too short that's too short this is uneven This is uneven, that's uneven, everything is uneven. Okay, um, I need to expand these a lot to a wider distance. Got my perspective messed up again. That's funny. But very helpful. I think possibly All right if I could somehow get this correct and boom. oh that's that is so bad honestly you wouldn't you probably wouldn't even be able to tell if I didn't express all of my disdain for this this is actually this is actually how some houses look <laughs> For some reason but this is just how I work on some of the uh, do it that there this is just how I work on some of my thumbnails before I actually get into something big and luckily I bought two canvases um, so at, at a Christmas party um, my cousin gave me the sizes the, the size of the canvas that she wanted it wanted the painting to be on and um, I just bought I just bought the canvases the next day so the door is too small need to have room for the door here about right there the so I'm gonna be working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas for this which is not a problem for me luckily I was actually able to find a two pack of these and with that being said, I am, uh, once I found the canvases, I just got a bit more excited and there's going to be a lot of green um, just because of the foliage and the grass, foliage, the grass, as well as the house a little bit too, because this house looks like it has some green in the panels, which again, that's not a problem. That'll be something I can work with. The only problem here is that I don't have a lot of green. I don't have any green acrylic paint at all which, um, you know, could present a problem, but not really. Because luckily for me, I decided to dedicate a lot of time last year to painting with only three colors, the triad as James Gurney would, the, the triad as James Gurney would say. And because of that, um, okay, yeah. 
And because of that, I know how to create colors with just other colors. Wait. Yeah, I'll say it like that. Just add add some foliage here. Um doo -doo -boom. Hmm. This is just a small sketch though. But because I don't have any green, I'm going to just have to be a little bit creative with my acrylic um with my acrylic applications. But that also that also reminded me of the fact that I do have a lot of gouache paint left over as well as a lot of watercolor. And three of my high um, three of my fancy watercolors are actually uh, green three of my fancy um what's the name of these things again? yeah three of my fancy daniel smith watercolors are actually uh green i have sap green sap green and two other greens that i'm not going to name right now because i just really don't know how to uh I'm getting off topic, basically. But with that being said, this is a one, two, three, four, one. Ooh, these are gonna be, I have to get these lines right too. Mm, 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 there's a line over here too. Okay, um, let's draw some stairs here. Looks like, it looks like five steps, five or so steps. Okay, let's see four uh, loops in the window, loop, four windows in the garage. There we go. Let's see four. So my aunt actually, I I was talking to her about how the house looked, and um, after 20 years still, and after them, they moved 17 years ago. Well, it's 2021, so they moved 14 years ago technically um, from this house, and they said that the house is still there, and it just doesn't look. Um, like it does now uh, well like it does in the painting it just uh, looks a bit dilapidated apparently not too sure if that's actually true but I just I never bothered to go visit and actually take a picture of it so that's the first one and she's um, like right here in front of the garage that's um, an area that I was interested in that was an area that I was interested in, uh, like figuring out how to draw, but she's, oh, that's too sharp. Here we go. Just laying down perspective lines now, just to see how, um, how I need to grid this um, entire piece together the gridding method um, ever since I took my painting class the gridding method was a method that I never really took advantage of in painting until I had to do it professionally I 
I did I did the greeting method with my first commission painting and I've done it ever since and it has always somehow messed up <laughs> mostly but every time I do it it always helps me um, with the confidence of the line strokes that I want to make versus the line strokes that I do make and confidence is key when it comes to um, doing this art stuff <clears throat> and that's something that I've come to realize after a while so now with that being said and with this being out the way okay so I'm looking at the whole piece right now we got a bit of a sidewalk here it actually goes a little further it goes almost right to the edge of the screen uh, of the screen <laughs> it goes almost right to the edge of the canvas here um, let's erase this just a little bit now let's see here um, one thing I'm gonna do my best is to just block in some shapes and not think too hard about where everything is just to make sure I mm, right there because uh, the main thing is that this isn't necessarily going to be a one-to-one -one recreation of the painting but I do want it to be as accurate as possible I don't even know the person's name who actually drew this but I want to make sure I can get something done get something done properly and some of this is actually already going to be cut out uh, some of the camp uh, some of the page itself is going to be cut out so I'm actually hmm I may just have to, well, I, I may not exactly have to do it, but I'm probably going to want to do it. But I'm probably going to crop some of the painting itself so I will be able to capture the house. Because in my head right now, I want to capture a lot of the foliage as well. And I'm not too sure if that's, um, is that something that I, I'm not too sure if that's something I really need to, need, need, need to do. But this is exactly why I am thumbnailing because I can think about all this and I recommend that you all thumbnail too when you have something this big uh, when you have something like this this big that you want to make sure is planned out properly. And let's see, let's see, let's see. So from here to here. And. Okay, I'm going a little too far to the edge of these I keep saying this is the screen ah my digitized brain this is this is frightening but going a little too far over to the edge here but um this is actually probably going to work a little better I don't have to see it all right boom the layout for this house was just a little odd, but it was, um, all right, so we're going to break past it. The layout for this house was just a little odd. And, um, once again, my aunt explained it to me how this house worked. Uh, so there were actually, okay. I kind of forgot now. I, I kind of forgot how she explained it. That's terrible. But, um, there were three bedrooms in the house and, um, I, I think she said there was possibly a fourth if you were to make one room 
a bedroom. I think uh, there was no, there wasn't. There wasn't a basement. There was a the house itself looks big enough to be a basement. Um, big enough to have a basement, but she said that it didn't have one. It only had the dining room, the living area, the kitchen, and a two-car garage, which was cool, but a two-car garage is just a storage area that hasn't been used yet. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Construction, construction, construction. Let's see. This is there. Ooh, I haven't had to paint bricks in a long time. I'm going to have to paint bricks doing this. I hope I have enough red because that's exactly what I'm going to have to use. I know bricks are typically brown, but you can't make brown without getting you can't make brown without using red or at least the brick the the brick tone that I'm going to end up needing you can't use that so there there and there just color those uh, not color those in but I'll darken those areas for right now Extend that a little bit here, there, and pop it over here. And I'm going to darken this area with a bit of hatching, cross hatching. Do these here. They're individual like pain lines on the, um, the, what is this called? The uh, facade of the house. There you go. That's the word. There are the individual like pain lines here on the on the front face or the facade of the house, and honestly, I'm I'm probably gonna add those in at the very last minute when I get all of this together, um, like in the final uh, process of the page uh, of the commission. I'm not. I'm just. Not, I'm not too sure. Well, I actually probably am a little. I'm a lot more sure than I thought I would would be let's see that's a tangent but they'll have to do so there's a line going across here boink and now let's see okay this is looking a lot better and I'm glad I Took this time to let's see one, two, three. Uh, took the time to go over it one more time. Actually, I'm probably gonna do it a third time just to just to fix this a little better. It looks like there ah hmm. It looks like there are some pencil markings as well in the in the what in the in the garage in the windows here that I'm drawing now on the garage. Look, there are some pencil markings. On the actual painting because the artist probably actually did that too just to um, make sure there were some darker areas but one of the ways I'm thinking of um, thinking of approaching this is with a mixed media I'm, I'm thinking of a mixed media approach now whether or not I'm actually gonna have some textures in this thing I don't know yet I kind of want to though because I I did an abstract piece um, in my painting class that I she my professor allowed me to 
that she kind of wanted us to because she bought the stuff and she wanted it to be used but she allowed us to put some gold foil as well as some wood chips well i made the wood chips they were it was actually like cardboard but pieces of hardboard that um i used in mine i'm thinking about adding some rock textures into the uh, the piece and i'm not I'm thinking about it I may mix it in with the acrylic paint on the uh, brick. If not the brick, I might mix it in with the grass because th this entire area here is going to be grass. And honestly, all, it, all this area is is just green. And that means I don't have to do that much work. As per usual, looks like the area that I need to work on the most is the house. I say as usual as, I say as usual as if I am consistently drawing houses. I should draw houses more though. But anyway. Oh. And that's okay. Cover that up with that. Happy accident. We'll add that into there. There's just a bit of Now I'm seeing the direction of the sun in this or yeah. In this piece now so the light is coming from here well not mm, not there but it is coming from there okay so it's coming from there and uh, let's see boom and then boom uh, so this this wall right here is actually a wall and it's not uh, it's not uh, it's an extended wall that's in front of this wall here so this wall is one piece and then this wall is another piece and it looks like there are some stairs well i'm imp i'm implying that but i don't there may or may not actually be some but it looks like there are some stairs here that i drew in and then there's going to be some right here and there's a gate up there i need to bring this forward for just a little bit made the lines too hard need to bring this forward just a little bit though and so there's a gate in front of the stairs okay and then this is this needs to be pulled back a little bit over here okay now i'm starting to see it and then there's just a little bit of a little bit of black here to signify that there this is covered up and, and connected to the ground a little bit now let's see get a little closer let's see let's see let's see let's see drawing bushes here and as as you all should know bushes are some of the foliage in general if you know how to capture it and um, get stanky with it because <laughs> I I like saying that term a uh, phrase I should say but um, if you know how to get stanky with it you should be able to make foliage out of any foliage or grass out of any shape ever because foliage and grass foliage grass trees bushes and everything else they always make the same shapes and by same shapes i mean the same random pattern that you can see in everything um sometimes you just need a thin enough well either a thin enough or in this case right here the side of the side of a it goes over here so the side of a pencil 
just so you can uh, smooth your way through it and you don't you won't have to do too much work and so I'm gonna I'm gonna cross hatch this grass area here just so I can darken it um, so I'm gonna go off panel and then go in here and then drop it there add some more bushes this is a whole tree right here though and this tree is a little odd shape too okay so this little area I'm gonna hatch this just a little bit as well because again the main focus is going to be the house but you want to make sure you get the foliage in there correctly as well so now with that being said let me get my let me get my there you are my uh this is my big leg holder my big lead holder i just forgot the name of it forgot the measurement and all that good stuff but we're going to figure that out in a second So now I'm going off panel to finish up the rest of the foliage that's in the background here. And ooh, that was just, there you go. And a little bit of the background. I think there's a, sh is that a shelf? No, not a shelf, a shed. Wow, that's, that's bad. I think there's a shelf here. Mm, that window's too big. Is that is that big? Yeah. So that's that, and let's see. So the door has just a, the door has just a little bit of room away from the um, the side of the house, the side of the first part of the house. And it has a split in it and we have the door here I'm just terrible at drawing window panes again more practice is needed and let's see okay And it's starting to get washed a little bit. Uh, let's darken the road. Because that's actually how the painting looks. I can see the I can see the brushwork and the textures on the brush that this artist actually used to paint the um, the road and actually the road as well as the grass that's in front right here. So with that being said, let me add these here and there's a soccer ball right here well actually it's not right there it's actually not right there where the soccer ball actually is it's about right here and the soccer ball looks very the soccer ball looks very deflated and defeated and if that ain't a mood right now <laughs> But anyway, I'm with that soccer ball. So there is some blue right here. It's a, it's a greenish blue though. So it's a blue and right there. I'm gonna fade it out a little bit though. Now back to the foliage here at hand. Um, again, I think there's a shed behind this entire house. I'm probably going to call my aunt just to see, but let's see, let's see. And 
There we are there. All right, and we are looking better and better and better. Good, good, good and good. All right, now I am just filling out, again, a large portion of this is just green and grass and foliage. So now I actually don't really need to do too much work because the bulk of everything is here. And even though the house itself is not finished in the conventional sense, it is still the thumbnail. And I wanted to block in a lot of the shapes and everything. But that's kind of it, like right here. This is this is basically where I want to. This is basically where I'm aiming to hit. Once I once I get everything together, all I had to do was establish where the facade, the facade here. Establish this facade here. Because this is the this is the face of the house, really the facade. This is this is the face face here. Once I establish that, and I got let's see these shadows here. Once I found the source of light, again the source of light is like right here. So that's great. And then there's a shadow here going, well, actually no, um, we're going to pull this way. I'm watching David Finch, I've been watching David Finch crosshatch and I'm just applying some of the techniques. All right, okay, there and there. Gonna add some area to that. I really thought I was gonna have to use three of these, but uh, I really thought I was gonna have to make three of these thumbnails. I'm probably going to because I have this much space left. I'm probably gonna do that though. Um, but also there is some sky up here. Now that I say that, so. So now I don't really have to, again, I don't really have to expand. I, I'm expanding the thumbnail here, but there's not much work that I actually have to do because hmm, the sky in the painting actually looks a bit more pastel than anything, but I see some, <clears throat> I see some yellow here. I see some yellow here. I see some swirls there. A little bit of curvature here. Curvature here, curvature here, curvature here. I like that. I like that as well. So this is actually, this here is actually pushing me to paint, um, like really pushing me to paint and I'm kind of happy for that. This is kind of fun. Well, I knew it was going to be fun, but you know, didn't really know what to expect with it because I haven't drawn all day and I don't really know what to make of this. But like a person I respect and admire a lot. Just do it. Wait, that, that's not that's not Nike. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about right now. That's what happens when I get quote unquote, quote unquote in the zone. Let's see. I'm gonna hatch a little bit of the road. I'm actually gonna bring the road out. Just to cheat, just to cheat, just a little bit, just to cheat, just a little bit. I'm gonna bring the road out. It actually looks like a tongue now. And let's see. Uh, 
Uh, let's add some more detail. So now, right now, the only reason I am adding so much to this, uh, to the second thumbnail is because I'm probably going to jump right into the, uh, to sketching on the canvas after this. And again, I thought I was going to need to do a third, um, thumbnail. I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to just to block out some extra shapes, but that's something that, um, you don't really need to see. It's just, that's, that's actually boring blocking out certain shapes like this. This is a lot more dynamic and a lot more uh, visual per se. But now that I am studying the textures of the foliage behind the tree, uh, the tree, the house, oh, of course, um, behind the, tr uh, the house, Um, now that I'm studying it, I'm actually seeing a lot more of the brushwork and the textures that um, extend um, to the end, to the edge of the canvas, and almost, almost probably off the, off of the painting itself. So I'm going to give it a floor, and this is actually a bit more elevated than it should be in the, in, in the. than it should be, but I'm going to add it right here just because I can. This is cool. And right now I'm just adding some, this is, uh, this is the dark patch of grass that I'm just adding here. And there's an implied line right there with uh, the brushwork, where the brushwork meets um, a flat area of the canvas, and then here. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is this is definitely a thing that was done that I am proud that I did. I'm nervous about painting bricks though. But we shall overcome that just like we overcame this. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's that is worthy of a finish. All right. I like it. And if my well, that's that's going to be awful. I'm definitely going to have to hold the picture up to that. But anyway. Uh, so that was this has been uh, some thumbnailing and I liked it. It was fun and it was it got me out of it It got me out of the comfort zone of you know, not drawing houses because I don't often draw houses But I like it and I hope you all did as well and um, Just to let you know if you all are new here to the channel, uh, please consider liking subscribing and uh, commenting below and just telling me about you know how you felt with this this was um interesting again this is every commission i do is very unique and every commission serves as a challenge for something what is that something i don't know i never i usually never know until after it's all done said and done so with that being said um I just, again i want to thank you all for watching and um until next time I'll catch you all later.